Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Monday here. Bit of risk off. It's 04 May, first full week in May. Before I continue, I've been threatened um, by the guy in Ireland. Um, he's telling me that I need to tell everyone, remind everyone to subscribe, click the like button, thumbs up. Um, just a note on our pal from Dublin. All of his friends live on Sheriff Street. They're north side people. These aren't the bougie uh, Dubliners who drink Chardonnay and hang out at the expensive bistros. Um, these guys are mean and fairly scary and they drink too much so if you care about my safety um, and just sort of the general safety for all of those around uh, in the Dublin area think about uh, clicking the like button and uh, subscribing and if you ever go to Dublin, try and avoid the north side and avoid Sheriff Street. Um, I imagine if you are on Sheriff Street, you'll probably end up in the Sheriff Street police station. Busiest station in Ireland. Anyway, that said, let's take a look at what's going on here. We had a um, bit of risk off going into uh, in Asia there. We opened... Flat, let's see. Well, we open actually, let's go to stocks. We open with a gap uh, down to 27.95, which is a bit of a surprise. So it's a, almost a 1% gap down to 27.95. Traded down to 71. We're back at 97. This gap strikes me as a fillable one. Um, you can just sell uh, between sort of 18 and 28 today. We're using 2850. That magical 2850 level is kind of like resistance, bull bear. Um, rethink the tactical book on the day if we get above 2850. Um, but core short stocks, uh, as we've been talking about, looks to be the future. A little surprised about this euro chart here. Um, euro got hit, got spanked. Not sure why. Um, Euro yen also smashed a bit. So, what do you do with this? I don't know. We're right in the middle right now. We're not even in the middle. We're in the top third of this range. Um, we're really looking closely at this 109.90, 110 area. Daily close above that will give us some fresh air, but until that happens, um, we're range bound. So no trade in Euro today. Gable also slithered back down below 125. We think Cable um, has the possibility of more bad news than Europe going forward. Could be internal bias on that, so be careful. Uh, we're not super happy with how the government's handling the crisis in the UK. Um, but also, let's just keep in mind, we're middle of the range here, so not a lot to do. Dollar Swiss, our sort of go-to horse here, will be selling today between sort of 55 and 85. Um, we still like this lower. Plans are still intact. It is uh, mid-range, as the others are. Um, but since this has been our horse for the last few weeks, this is the one we'll play on the fade. Uh, so we'll be selling high ones in dollar yen, in dollar Swiss. Dollar yen also got pinched a bit. Um, 107.50 now is important topside, but equally as important as 106.40. So at 107, at 106.74, there's not much to do. Makes sense to us to sell through the lows here and also buy through the highs. We've had a lot of tomfoolery. We had the 107 break down to 40, back to 97, down to 40 again. 
then the fix took us up to 50. We had some weird shit in Euro Yen on Friday. We're going to break trade this either side. Don't really care. Both of them look equally interesting. Top side I like because market's short dollar yen. Downside I like because I like selling dollars and I like stocks lower. Um, patience. Wait for the edges on that one. We really thought this was going to really do something stupid. Um, still might. But looks like it came back to normalcy now. So we close. Let's look at the weeklies. The weeklies look very, very bullish. Bullish engulfing on the weeklies. Are we going to retest 115.45? Mm. People will get caught with their pants down if we do now. Indecision at the end of the day on Friday. We closed at 36. Uh, we cracked the low, so this is pretty bearish. No dog in this fight, uh, just watching. Not going to trade it today. Uh, our our interest is more on the break trade side, 117.77. You'll see us there one day. Sterling Yen, not much to do here. Downside looks at risk. I'm always bearish Sterling Yen, so... Careful of the bias here. Um, 132 is important. Dollars are, if you listened to me last Wednesday and you pick some dollars are up between 40 and the figure, you there's a, there's a good chance um, you're pretty happy about that, right? So we're 1880. I'm going to break this uh, 1920 and 1940 area soon. This country is, is hopelessly screwed uh, on the financial side uh, and also, I would argue, on the leadership side. Throw in a little bit of climate fuck you and, uh, man, not too, uh, not too bullish on South Africa. So, I don't know. If you're religious, pray for these guys. Um, if you're not and you're just trying to make some money... Uh, Long dollars are looks looks the way. Aussie pony has been smacked. Um, here we are. Not much to do here. You you can just sell rallies in Aussie. The tension between the U.S. and China is going to create problems for Aussie. Aussie yen. That was our horse on Friday. Um, if you have this in the trend book, stay short. We just had it in the tactical book. So we're square now. Um, Aussie N looks looks bad. Gold pain in the ass, right? Dicking around 117. You got to be long gold. I don't know how or or where or, or or how to structure this. Maybe call spreads. I don't know. Gold's hard. You can see what's happening here in gold. This is going to be the way. This is going to be the way people are going to look at gold. One of the things about technicals is not the magic of technical analysis. It's more the general psychology of the market and how and what is everybody looking at. This little uh, pattern here is what everyone's going to be looking at. So downside, there'll be there'll be long zigzag. Nervous below 1675 top side, uh, sort of bullish trend continues up through. I don't know, today is uh, 1734, so maybe that's the way to trade gold. That little pendant there, yes, we talked about it. Sell high ones today. Um, we got some data out. PMIs and stuff out of out of um, out of Europe. We have ISM business conditions out of the U.S. Not super important. We do have the RBA statement uh, tomorrow morning, sort of 6:30 um, European time. That's more important than the uh, sort of the garbage economic indicators that are all going to be shitty uh, today. So. 
I don't know. Let's uh, focus on what we're focusing on here. Selling high ones in ES. Selling high ones in dollar Swiss. Um, keeping an eye on the edges of the ranges. Top side edge in uh, Euro Yen. Both sides in dollar Yen. Good luck today, traders. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.